welcome back to the Chance Bishop Show YouTube here in sunny South Beach for the 2023 opening day. I mean, it's it's baseball. Baseball is back. The 2023 season is officially underway here in South Beach. The Phillies are taking on the Marlins. And I mean the Phillies. They made the playoffs last year for the first time since the 2011 season. They didn't make it past the first round, but hey, they made it to the playoffs. This past offseason, they went big. They brought in Clayton Kershaw, and they did some overall moves to help bolster the team for the future. So last year, you know, very last trade deadline, brought in Madison Bumgarner. So Kershaw is taking on his former, is teaming up with his former rival on this Philly squad to hopefully win the ring. Now last season, the Phillies were the best offensive team and their best ERA-wise in pitching. Now Pablo Lopez, a super underrated pitcher, unfortunately plays for the Marlins. In 33 starts, he went 9-12-4 ERA. So I mean, that's a little unfortunate right there. He's definitely a better pitcher than that. Now Kyle Schwarber up and Schwarbs sends that middle outside change up to... Deep center field fly out at the wall. Warning track path. This isn't Miami. That's a leadoff home run to start off this season. Now, Reese Hoskins, he's due up and he's going to draw himself a walk. Reese got himself a great eye. And if he's watching the ball go by, he's a dangerous player. Now, 3 1 count. Harper swinging. That one's getting in the gap. That one gets down. One hops off the wall. Hoskins, he's going to hold up at first. So, Harper will hold up at second with a two, one, uh, one out double. Nick Castellanos up, and Castellanos grounds that one of the shortstop. Hoskins will score as Castellanos grounds out, so trade him out for a run. Phillies take a 1-0 lead. Former Marlin JT Riamuto sends that one to right. Not deep at all, as that's an easy fly out to end off the first inning. Now, Phillies take the 1-0 lead here, as Aaron Nola will take the mound in 33 starts. He went 23-3, brought home the National League Cy Young Award. At a 250 array, 200 innings pitch, 147 hits a lot, a 102 whip, 59 walks, 192 strikeouts. Now, first batter is Joey Wendell, and Wendell grounds that one to Gene Segura. Segura fires that one to Reese Hoskins in time for out number one. First batter up, first batter retired. Now, taking a look at this Marlins lineup as Brian De La Cruz is going to pop this one up to Alec Boom Boom. Makes the catch right there. Now, that Marlins lineup, it's an interesting lineup. I mean, you got some play, uh, play, uh, players in places I didn't expect them to see. Like Brian Harrison DHing. Thought that you'd definitely be more of a field guy. But, that's a base hit. Jesus Sanchez up, and that's going to be a round ball to Boehm. Firing the Hoskins in time for out number three. So the one out base knock does not come, come to harm the Phillies. Bryson Stott looking to do better than his rookie season. Starts off the season with a line out to left field. So one away here now. It's Gene Segura. And Segura going to send that one on a line to left field. That one's going to get down over the head of the left fielder. As Segura makes the big turn for second base. Sliding in safely with that one out double. So Segura, he's, he's got the whole contact thing. As Mickey Moniak's up. And Moniak swing and miss of that circle changeup. That's just an easy... Punch out right there. It's probably Pablo Lopez is one of his best pitches. Now Alec Bohm showing off the bat skills as he singles up the middle for a RBI single with two outs in the inning. He makes the score 2-2-0. Two, two, Love to see that right there. Is that Bohm's like, hey, look at that. I'm learning to hit, guys. Kyle Schwarber up and Schwarber thought he had a ball right there, but they called strike three. Now 1-2 count to Jazz Chisholm is Chisholm. Lines that one to Gene Segura. So second base from second base from crime right there. You hate to see it. Gene Segura robs Jazz Chisholm of a base knock. Omar Navarez up and Omar Navarez sends that one on a lazy fly to left. Schwarber makes the catch for out number two. So two away here now in the second inning as Aaron Nola is cruising so far. Avicio Garcia, former White Sox, puts down a line past the outstretch glove of Bohm. He's going to get to the wall, beating Kyle Schwarber, as Garcia has himself a stand-up double with two outs here in the second inning. It's one thing you hate to see. You have a defensively inept team, and it costs you. Aaron Nola giving up the two-out walk right now. Two men on, two away. 
as Miguel Rojas is up, and Miguel Rojas is going to chop that one to Hoskins. Who flips to Nola? Who outruns Miguel to the first base bag for out number three? So no runs come across the board here as the Phillies go on to the top of the third inning, and that's going to be another walk for Reese Hoskins, his second walk of the ball game, second on the season. Bryce Harper up, and Harper connects with that high fastball. Deep center field, and that's going to be caught for the first down. Hoskins goes all the way back to first base. You hate to see that. Castellanos puts down on the ground through the hole, and this will be first and second now with one away. And you got two not quick runners on for JT. JT grounds that to the shortstop, who goes to the second baseman and goes back to the first baseman. In time for an inning and in double play. So Phillies can't capitalize with two on and one out. As Aaron Nola going to get his first batter of the third inning. to fly out to left field. Schwarber settles under it and makes that catch. So Nola cruising through this game. Excluding that one hit and that one walk. But overall he's having a very good outing. As Brian De La Cruz comes up and Cruz. Grounds that ball right past Gene Segura. For a one-out base knock. So double play ball right now. Yeah, you want to see something like that happen. Get the ball on the ground. And that's not the ground. That is the opposite of the ground. That is a hanging pitch that Garrett Cooper crushes to a left field for a home run. You hate to see that. Garrett Cooper first home run on the season. Not, not what you wanted to see from Aaron Nola, the ace of this staff. You wanted him to come out, dominate, shut the door, not give up a home run to the opposing first baseman. A real unfortunate turn of events right there. But Jesus Sanchez up right now, and that's a big strike out there. So rebounding from that home run for the second out of the inning. So that's the one the good thing about Aaron Ola is that, hey, he can make a mistake. But then after that mistake, he comes back and shows you that, like, hey, you got me, but I'm still in control. That's what he is now. He is downing so far. Now just needs the offense to untie this ball game. I mean, on top of the fourth thing, starting off with a ground out. Not quite what you'll want to see. But hey, it could in fact be... It could be worse for wear, honestly. It could definitely be worse. But Gene Segura up now for full count. And Segura put that one down that third baseline. You know, just barely fair. As that just rolls down. And it's going to be his second double of the game right there. Left field finally getting the ball in to the third baseman. Now here we go. Mickey Moniak up there. Moniak takes that inside. Fastball deep right field. And that one. That was a second deck shot for Mickey Moniak. Known power hitter Mickey Moniak hits moonshot to right center field. Alright Mickey Moniak. Where's his power been? Joe Girardi. You know, put down his clipboard for once to actually watch the ball game. You know, he put it down just in time to see Mickey Moniak hit a home run. Alec Bohm up now, and Bohm chases that ball way too far out of the zone. But, hey, the one good thing, though, about this game is that the Phillies are taking a lot of pitches, and Pablo, San uh, Pablo Lopez, is he, his pitch count is getting up there. You know, nine, uh, 86 pitches right now. With two out, so that's eh, a fly out to right field. So not quite a 90 pitch four inning, but hey, it, it's up there. Aaron Nola second punch out of the game, only through two, uh, three and a third, 63 pitches. So he's he's a little rusty coming into the season himself, but definitely not no 90 pitches through, you know, through four full innings. Brian Anderson, the DH up in Anderson. Goes down swinging with that fastball. So, the 1, 2, 3, and 4 of Aaron Nola and the Phillies. As in comes Eliza Hernandez. Last season, six games, he went 13 and 3. One save, 161 innings pitch, a 3 5 ERA, 131 whip, 141 strikeouts, and 51 walks. So, Eliza, a pretty okay pitcher out of the pen last year as Bryce Harper's up now. That's going to be a big swing and miss at that circle changeup. So, back to back pitchers that are throwing the circle change at Philadelphia. Now Nick Castellanos up and Castellanos puts down all on that inside circle change up. And that's going to be a fly out to center field. Second out now here in the inning. As Hernandez has cruised to his inning so far. Only seven pitches. You know, tenth pitch of the inning right now. As JT puts that one to left field for a base knock. You love to see that. 
So it's going to be one man on with two away now for Stott as Stott sends that one to right field. That one gets down as JT is going to go first all the way to third. Gets there standing. All right, JT Riamuto on that Bryson Stott single. Gene Segura puts that one on the ground right to the shortstop. Who's going to flip to the second baseman to get Stott out? Now, Phillies can't capitalize, score any runs, but here we go. It's going to be a Nola strikeout. You'll love to see that. Big Nola punch out, fourth of the game. Four punch outs, five, uh, five, four and a third innings pitched. Five strikeouts, four and two thirds innings pitched now. So Nola, he's the kind of player who will just bounce back. He'll go from like a couple strikeouts. He'll just rebound and get a ton of strikeouts consecutively. Now, here we go. Harper chasing that ball into the corner. That's going to be a two-out double. And hey, last time, it was a two-out double. Pulled up with the home run. This time, not as hard hit. It's a light ball hit down the third base line. Runner's going to score from second. Runner will hold up at first. So it's a 4-3 ball game now. Philadelphia still has the lead. You like to see that. And now Sanchez up, and Sanchez goes down swinging. So Philadelphia limits the damage. As they're trying to regain some more comfort room in that league as Moniac goes down looking for the first out here in the sixth inning. All right, here we go. Alec Bohm up now. It's a 1-2 count. And Bohm puts down the ground. Chopper to the second baseman. Who double clutches it and fires it to the first baseman. Two away now here on top of the sixth inning as Eliza in his second inning of work is just shutting the door on Philadelphia. First walk issued by Hernandez. Is that going to be to none other than Kyle Schwarber, one of the best eyes in baseball. 1-2 count to Hoskins, who is very early on that slider for the final out of the inning. So no runs, one walk for Philadelphia. As up comes Jazz Chisholm, who goes down swinging. Nice punch right there for Aaron Ola, his seventh of the ball game. Now approaching 100 pitches, so probably lasting a work right now for Aaron Nola. He does have the lead, which is definitely nice. Now, Vicio Garcia up to 1 2 count, and that's, I'm sorry, he's 1 for 2. I'm going to say, you know, he went. That's going to be a walk right there. So we got the count at the uh, hits per at bats at the count. But after that 2 out walk, there is a 2 out strikeout of Brian Anderson to end the inning. New pitcher on for the Marlins, it's Pedro Baez, a former. Former Dodger, right? He played for the Dodgers. Six foot, two thirty-two, eight years in the league. Okay. Now, Bryce Harper leads off the inning with a very long, very gone, and very out of here home run. There is no Grinch running around these bases, Bryce. Soak it up as you're approaching your 350th, 400th career home run at this point. Now, Baez comes in. First batter he faces must be embarrassing to say the least. I mean, you hate to see stuff like that happen to any pitcher. It doesn't matter if it's your pitcher or the opposing pitcher. You ever go out there and just get, you know, embarrassed instantly by an opponent, especially a division rival. Now, next batter up, that one. Going to clear the wall as well. So, back-to-back -back jacks right there, Harper and Castellanos. Going back and back off of Baez, who clearly does not have the stuff right now. Now, Joe Girardi... Bottom of the steps right there. He's clapping along with his team. Then we said, hey, coach, get off the notepad, get off the iPad. You know, go look at go look at this game. Just watch the game. Make adjustments based off the game. Now, JT draws a no-out walk right there. It's a 6-3 ball game right now as JT takes first base. Jake McGee. Jake McGee, the former Colorado Rocky, right? He was a Colorado Rocky and a Ray and something else. I think a Royal. Was he a Royal? Was Jake McGee a Royal? But Jake McGee, the former something or other, now with the Marlins, taking on Bryson Stott, who goes down a swinging for the first out here in this seventh inning. Now, Gene Segura up, and Segura's going to ground this one into a 6-4-3 inning-ending double play. Adam Wainwright coming in, his first appearance here in Philadelphia, and last season went 59 games, 9-10, 379 ERA. So the bullpen piece nonetheless, and he's going to be hopefully a workhorse in this pen for us. Definitely need some of his expertise, especially when it comes to hopefully you know, getting past the first round in the postseason. 
very nice for him to mentor some of the younger pitchers as they develop and come up. Joey Wendell up and Wendell sends that one to right. And Schwarber cannot handle it right there. It just fell too quickly as Kyle could not get a handle on it. Someone's trying to run on JT and JT ooh, allows the steal. First steal of season for John Birdie. Now Brian De La Cruz goes down looking. That's a called strike three on De La Cruz. All right, for the second out of the year, is that ball going to go to Bryce Harper there in deep right field for the final out. As Harper makes the catch, you like to see stuff like that happening. If you're a Phillies fan, it's routine plays. Will Smith, the fresh prince of Philadelphia, he's coming to pitch right now for the Marlins last year. He had a abysmal season in 73 games, a 5.88 ERA. That is something awful. First batter up goes down, swing that pitch way too far out of the zone. You hate to see that. Alec Bohm up. He's going to try and check his swing. They're going to say he went around, which I think is malarkey. Definitely do not go around the bat. And here we go. That's going to be a ball four. Pretty sure that's supposed to be a strike three call, but that was ball four. That's what the home plate umpire read it as. That's what it is. Next batter up is going to be a pop-up to use up your stands. There you go. That's going to be a unfortunate play right there. There you go. Now Adam Wayne right back on the mound for a second inning of work. Chopper right back to Wayno, who fires to Reese Hoskins in time for the first down. Now Jazz Chisholm up and Chisholm pops this one up. You know, right, by, right in front of the second base bag for out number two. Two outs now here in the eighth inning. You like to see that right there. For your Philadelphia Phillies. And now here we go. Omar Navarez just absolutely tanks that one. Absolutely tanked that home run. What a more unfortunate thing to witness than, than that. Omar Navarez, not a huge offensive catcher. It's absolutely wrecking shop when it came to that at bat. I've definitely seen him one of our as another franchise much before people like they'll bring him in just to be like, yeah, he's a cool contact guy, not gonna hit for any power, be great defensively in the sim, and then he just absolutely hits a tank off me. Like, come on, like what is what is the odds of that nonsense happening? Tyler Chatwood, the former Rocky and now for the Miami Marlins. You know, last time we saw Chatwood I don't know when the last time I saw Chatwood. When's the last time we saw Chatwood in Major League Baseball? Bryce Harper draws a walk, though, from Tyler, as that's going to be the first man he faces and the first man aboard in the inning. Nick Castellanos not hitting an untimely home run. He is getting an untimely strikeout. Call three. JT up, and JT sends that one to the left. That one gets down for the base knock. So we have two men on, one away here. As the Phillies are looking to capitalize, we have Bryson Stott chops down to the second baseman, over to JT, and back to the first baseman. Hate to see that right there, but here we go. Gene Segura strikes out, which is unfortunate to end this inning. Real unfortunate way to end an inning off right there. As in comes Kenley Jansen. Jansen, you know, the Phillies' star closer came in this past offseason. He's going to place Corey Knable, whose ERA was just absolutely abysmal. Last season with the Braves, did not really get used much as a closer. But in the bottom of the ninth inning right now, we're going to rely on him to hopefully be the best pitcher on our team. Now, first batter gets a single. It's fine. It happens. No biggie. Miguel Rojas up and Rojas goes down swinging. They're going to say that pit, uh, bat went around the shoulder for the first out. Joey Wendell. Sends that one to right field. That one's not going to get down unless you count in the glove. And that's going to be a two outs now in this inning. Here you go. Brian De La Cruz. Chopper the shortstop. Who's going to fire to first base in the time for the final out? Now, the Phillies get the win right now. You'll love to see that. Philadelphia gets the win. They're going to celebrate with their team momentarily. Let the team on the field get some celebrations in with each other. The Marlins are unhappy losing at home, especially on opening day. Phillies embarrassed them 6-4, 11 hits to 9 hits. 
you hate to see that. But if you guys are subscribed, hit that like button. Comment down below your favorite part of the video was. And next time, YouTube, though, peace out. Rock on. Stay super classy on yourselves. An absolutely great day.